I'm going to explain super quick the entire district aid withdrawal process. Basically, how you can get your money from your music. I've gotten numerous questions all about different ways to get paid, the timing, all this kind of stuff. So in this video, I'm not going to add in any fluff. I'm going to jump right into it. Here's how you get paid. Now, first off, you do have to fill out a tax form when you sign up with DistroKid. I've done some videos about this. In this video, I'm scraping the surface on each one of these points. But basically, you do have to fill out your tax form because any single time you make money that is reported to the IRS. And as a quick side note, I'm a former accountant, but I'm not your accountant. Make sure you hire a tax accountant when it comes to all this. But basically, one, you do have to fill out a tax form. The second thing, you have to choose your payment method. Do you want to use PayPal, direct deposit? Do you want to get a physical check in the mail? Do you want to get a wire transfer? This does depend, I'm not going to lie, country to country in terms of the logistics. And I'm not going to lie, I don't know the exact specifics from one country to another about what the best method is. But I will say, at least here in America, I personally use direct deposit. I just think that's the best way to go. Now, the third thing. Now, in terms of the timeline, right? So let's say you set up your tax form, you set up your payment method, you're pretty much all set now to get paid. Here's how it works when it comes to stores. And it does depend. And overall, kind of unfortunate, there is a lag. Let's say someone downloads or streams your song on January 1st. The stores take about two to three months to have that money sent and put in your district kid banking section. So, for example, if let's say someone streams or downloads your song on January 1st, the month of January, the month of February, the month of March, right? Those are three months. You're pretty much looking at about February, let's say I'm just making this up, maybe the middle of February to the end of March, maybe even beginning of April for that money to be in your account. And I know this is annoying. Like I said, you just signed up with a district kid. You're like, wait, I have to wait months, literally months just to get my first payment. <sighs> Fortunately, yes. Now, of course, like anything in life, once you get that ball rolling, you're not going to really notice it. Like for me now, all I've been using district kids since 2015, long, long time ago I signed up. So yeah, there was a lag. It was a very annoying lag, but now I'm getting paid every three months out or two to three months out. So that money appears in my banking section. Once that money is in your banking section of DistroKid, you then have to manually go and click withdraw earnings. Now, every single time you do go to your banking section, you're going to see at the bottom how much DistroKid owes you at that current moment. Now, you can select, you know, the uh, the song. You can select the artist. Like, say, if you have multiple artists on your district account, you can select, like, the type. Is it coming from Spotify? Is it coming from Apple Music? So, you can see a lot of these specifics. But I will say, because of the lag, it isn't as, like, say, clear-cut compared to something like YouTube, for example. I can see aggressively in-depth analytics on my YouTube earnings, what videos are making the most amount of money, all this kind of stuff. With DistroKid, it is pretty basic. You can click, like, say, a month, like, say, three or four months in the past and see, okay, here's how much money I made from TikTok or Spotify or Apple Music or Amazon. The list goes on and on and on. And then, like I said, at the bottom, you will see how much DistroKid owes you. I will say as a quick side note, and this is kind of, an, uh, for me, it doesn't bother me, but I know some people it does, that when it comes to withdrawing earnings on DistroKid, it's pretty much all or nothing. I'm making this up. Let's say you go to DistroKid and you have $100 in your bank account that you can withdraw. But let's say you're like, you know what? I only want to withdraw 50 for whatever reason. It is kind of annoying. I know, at least to me, it doesn't bother me. But I know some people have commented on my channel being like, hey, Mark, why can't I pick a specific amount? Unfortunately, like so if you go to withdraw $100 and you click withdraw, you will withdraw all that amount. It's all or nothing. Now, once you click withdraw, the entire withdrawal process has begun. This takes anywhere between, I'd say, two to 14 business days. I know that's a huge spread of time. I think the main reason why, being honest, for me, it probably takes me three to four business days for me personally, on average, using direct deposit. I think the main reason why they say this is that, let's say, a bunch of people withdraw at the same time. Let's say there's some issues. They probably give themselves a two week lag just in case. And of course, this might depend if, let's say, of course, you're using, excuse me, a uh, a physical check. That's going to definitely take a lot longer compared to direct deposit. 
So, like I said, in terms of this entire timeline, you fill out your tax form, payment information in terms of wire transfer, PayPal, direct deposit. Like I said, for me personally, it's direct deposit, et cetera, et cetera. Then your music starts getting streamed and downloaded. It takes about two to three months for that to appear in your banking section. Once it does, you click withdraw. Once you withdraw it, it's gonna be good. it's gonna take about two to 14 business days for that money to be in your account.